Tua is an organisation that's grown very, very quickly. We're moving close to 3,000 units under management and an ownership very soon. This year we'll be close on 500 units delivered and um, we would like to keep up our, our momentum um, in the years to come and to take our, play our part in um, rebuilding Ireland for sure, which we are doing to date and um, we would like to continue that track record. So we've delivered um, all sorts of schemes, we've delivered from your basic acquisitions of small lot sizes up to 10 units right through to brand new constructed estates up to 70 units um, plus. We've done a number of estates this year for example, three estates across the Dublin region, um, 49 units, 48 units, 68 units and it's been very successful and that's all been um, working closely with the HFA on, on their excellent interest rates and long term fix rates which are, are very helpful to our business. As we move forward, we're also looking at off-balance sheet funding, primarily to try and match up with the um, housing agency um, warehouse acquisitions that will be coming on stream soon, which are primarily, the goal there is to use 70 million um, budget that's been put aside to essentially acquire quickly the distressed bank loan books that will be coming to market, and to a certain extent, the um, deleveraging of the private equity firms. And again, at TUA, we want to make sure we play our part in that process and be um, ready and able um, to acquire those properties from the housing agency as soon as they're ready. We work with everybody. And relationships and stakeholders are key to our business and I think our, our CEO, Sean O'Connor, uh, embeds that in all of us here at TUA. But um, it's right through from the department, the local authorities, Department of Finance, um, the ICSH, the housing agency, the housing finance agency, and then you move out to um, the private funders who are working with those closely, and developers, builders, estate agents, and um, we, we are acquiring homes through multiple sources. There really is no um, one way they come in, and sometimes the smallest lead can often lead to the biggest win, and likewise, on the flip side of that, we can often be working on something for quite a long time that doesn't materialise, and that's the nature of the property business, and then um, we're well used to it and we embrace that. The issues, of course, is cash flow and working capital to get those projects moving. So we've worked with the department on that. The outcome of that is the accelerated CAF program, which has been a significant help towards mm -hmm. enabling some sites with developers. And we put that in place in a number of schemes already, and um, it's been excellent. Perhaps one of our most exciting projects named as Thornwood, which is in um, Beaumont in North Dublin, and it's 68 units. We acquired Thornwood earlier this year, and we've released four, four phases of it so far and we're down to the apartments now um, need to be finished and closed out. And that was funded with the HFA and the EIB on a 25 year fixed rate term. A fantastic project. We were just up there yesterday and we had the EIB in town. Um, they were very excited by it, very impressed by it. And we have the first tenants moved in there on the first few phases. So a fantastic scheme that we're proud of and there's plenty more examples of that.